From the mountainous land of luscious beauty, gentle sounds, a strong nature and exotic life, comes a story of a lost people whose rebellious spirit knocks on the drum of the festive people of today. The descendants of the lost Taino tribe stands tall, paying a solemn tribute to the men and women of Hayuya, Puerto Rico, who fought to keep their identity true. Hayuya is recognized in Puerto Rico as the town of the tomato, Every year in April, the town hosts its annual festival of the tomato. We provide the facilities and economic help. Again, we get thousands of people from around the island. I think they come to our festival seeking tradition and peace, something that is lost everywhere else on the island. The National Indigenous Festival of Hayuya is one of the most renowned folkloric festivals celebrated in Puerto Rico. It was established in 1969 by Mrs. Aura Pierluisi, Walter Murray Chiesa, and Nelson Rafael Collazo. It is hosted by the Hayuya Cultural Center, the Puerto Rican Institute of Culture, and the municipal government. It is celebrated every year on a day closely following the commemoration of the discovery of Puerto Rico, November 19. This festival offers various activities that recreate our Taino ancestors' lifestyles, such as the indigenous queen pageant, the artisan fair, kiosks that recreate an indigenous town, exhibitions, bate games, and indigenous dances. It was good. We had a long drive here today, but we made it, and I saw a lot of the dancing and checking out the widow. The festival has been around over 40 years. Que el festival Nacional Indígena de Hayuya. The festival is here to stay. The public demands it. In the beginning, we would send out invitations all over the island of Puerto Rico. Now, we don't have to. Today, Hayuya is known for its skilled wood carvers that make all types of art crafts. Some of the best artisans in Puerto Rico come from Hayuya. Don Gonzalo Gonzalez was one of Hayuya's first artisans. He produced baskets. Another one is Mrs. Obdulia Garcia. She was the first one to make wood saints. We have the best artisan of all Puerto Rico, and in my opinion, the world. Don Apellido Collazo was known for making bird sculptures. Here in Hayuya, we have a large community of artisans who make good designs with their hands. Elpidio Collazo is considered the most recognizable and distinguished artisan in woodcrafting of Puerto Rican birds. After his death in 2007, his daughter Graciela continued practicing his craft. He was the first artisan in the woodcraft of birds. He helped us learn about all the types of birds we had here in the island. And as he walked this earth, he showed us what we have inside of us, and that was his teaching. He entered this world as an Indian. My dad would look at the rock carving and would wonder how the Indians carved these rocks with no tools. Jose Reyes Zamora, or as everyone calls him in Hayuya, Pepito, has taken it upon himself to educate, investigate, promote and construct the almost extinct tiple in Puerto Rico. My wife gave me a tiple guitar. I studied it and noticed that you could hardly find them anymore. This was in 1980, and I was already retired. I started interviewing people and studying the tiple. I visited all different parts of the island to find a few tiple that were still left. The tiple is one of the oldest instruments in Puerto Rico. He and his wife teach classes, and they've even written a how-to book on the tiple. According to him, the instrument dates back to the 18th century, and it is believed to have evolved from the Spanish guitarrillo. There was never a standard for the tiple, and as a result, there are many variations throughout the island. The three principal tiples are the requinto, the smallest of the tiple, the dolientes, of medium size, and the tiple grande, which is the biggest and mostly resembles the Puerto Rican cuatro. As a Hayuyano, it made me enter into things that people didn't like to do. The same way that we rescued the tiple that was forgotten, 
We now have the best instructors teaching and recording it. Process of rescuing the tiple, he has given talks, workshops, demonstrations, courses, and performances throughout Puerto Rico. Reyes believes that, as an artisan, he must continue to educate and teach people the art of making these wonderful guitars. He does not want this special instrument to go extinct again. Hayuya may not be the best in the world, but it has a lot of potential. Puerto Rico offers much to the world, from the world's largest radio telescope to the only tropical rainforest in the United States. I have to say that 99 out of 100 percent of the people who visit Hayuya like it here. They like it because of all the nature and the people. They also like the various natural things, and I don't mean artificial, but natural places that we have here. Now artisans like Jose Reyes have inspired a whole new generation of people with his beloved tiple. Others like Aura Pierluisi, Nelson Rafael Collazo, and the town of Hayuya have taken on a different path. They want to keep the images of the first freedom fighters alive, the Tainos. We have all the basic tourist attractions here. That will make people feel good and want to visit. In Hayuya, you will be able to find what you desire, from the people to the ambias to the tranquility. While visiting the town, there are several landmarks for tourists to consider. Come and see the spectacular views and meet the artisans. Listen to music and enjoy the festivals that fill the island year-round. Come and enjoy the petroglyphs that the natives left behind in this part of the island. It is a town that is friendly and welcoming. Come to Hayuya and enjoy the mountains, the air, and everything that the Tainos left us. Hayuya, it's the center and heart of Puerto Rico. 